So you've hit a great tee shot. You've hit a really good second shot, only to discover it's ended up in the greenside bunker. What now? So for lots of players, this shot induces the worst thing you can possibly have when you're playing this shot, fear. What does fear do? Fear makes you tense. Now, if you try and swing the golf club when you're tense for this shot, it isn't gonna work. So why do we see, when we watch the tour players, a completely different thing? They actually enjoy going in bunkers. They'll even, at times when they can't get close to the flag from the fairway, they'll even deliberately put a ball in a bunker because they find it easy. Do they walk into the bunker with fear and tension? No, they're actually relaxed and they're really comfortable and they're looking forward to the shot. So straight away, there's a big difference between the two. And we're gonna talk about why you get tense and how that actually affects the shot and just show you how to play it in a lovely, relaxed and easy way. So let's start with the tool that you're actually gonna use for this job. Obviously, the club you wanna pull out of your bag is the sand wedge. But what does the sand wedge do? Why is it different to other golf clubs? Well, it's a bit like making sure you've got the right tool for the job. Think about going to split a log. You want a nice ax to split the log with, nice heavy ax that will do the job for you. You wouldn't want to do it with a kitchen knife. They've both got sharp edges, but one will do the job, the other one won't. This, the sand wedge, is designed for the job. It's got a heavier head than any other club in your bag, so it's designed for going through sand. That's a very important element to actually understand because that means straight away that if you're going to use that weight, you're going to need to relax and let it swing. And that's really the key point right from the start that most club golfers get wrong when they get into a bunker, is they're trying to fight this heavy weight and force it to come through the ball. That doesn't work. You've actually got to relax and swing and let the club actually swing through the ball. And it will go through the sand, it will glide through the sand really easily. And the, 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 with the angle of the face, which is designed to get the ball up, you don't need to help it, just let the club do that job. So my focus in this shot is really about being relaxed. I need to be tension free. My arms need to be nice and loose. I need to feel the weight of that club head. It's really heavy. So I'm just gonna let that relax and swing through the ball. Now, take the urgency out of it, just relax. Make sure you dig your feet in, get, get yourself nicely into the sand so you're not gonna move around during the shot. Set the club face up and just swing like that. So easy, so relaxed. And what's the difference between that and what I see the club golfers doing? Let me show you. So if we compare that to what we see with the average golfer who's frightened of this shot, the way they play it, they come into the bunker, they're already tense before they even start to play the shot. Anxiety, heart racing maybe, gripping the golf club much too tightly, arms tense, and they come into the bunker, and everything's moving fast like this, you're trying to play a lovely gentle shot, but you're already feeling tense. And what's gonna happen is as you come through the ball, you're gonna like this into the sand. The club stops, you've hit a huge amount of sand, but the ball's never gonna come out like that. So I'm not gonna to talk to you about theory here. What I want to talk to you about is the bit that really matters, the bit that's actually gonna make a difference to you to get you out of this bunker every time. And it is about releasing yourself from that tension, being relaxed and letting this golf club do its work. So you just allow it to do the job it's designed to do, which is to take a really relaxed and easy swing. Again, make sure that you've settled yourself in the sand and just relax, let it swing really easy and the ball will come out every single time. So if you've just found easier swing, just come and join the thousands of golfers around the world who are finding an easier way to play the game. It's not technical, it's not difficult, anybody can do it and you can improve your game in the simplest possible way. You just need to check out our website, easierswing.com. You can sign up for our newsletter. We've also got the Positive Impact Golf book there where you can download the first few chapters and get a look at that, see what you think. And if you want to, you can get the rest of the book and you can also have a look at our new book, The Easier Swing in Golf. So I hope you enjoy those resources easierswing.com. So if I can give you one final thing to consider when you're playing these shots, once you've relaxed yourself, you're tension free, you're swinging that club and allowing it to do its job, just one final thing to make sure you do on each of these shots. So let's just play the shot. Finish well. Make sure you come through the ball and finish, get the club over your shoulder here, even for the shortest of shots. Don't allow yourself to stab and finish short down here, which is what I see so many club golfers doing. Get through the ball and finish, and that will really help. As we can see, 
I played three shots for you there in demonstration and all three have come out of the, of the bunker. They're all pretty close. I'm quite happy with those. I wasn't too focused on trying to get them close to the flag because all I wanted to demonstrate to you was just to relax, let that club swing, let it do its job. And as you can see, the ball comes out every time. That's fun. You'll really enjoy your game when you know that every time you go in a bunker, you can get it out for one shot somewhere near the flag. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please like and subscribe. Please tell your friends and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.